This is a reasons to come to the Q&A graph. Um, that says we love picture house, uh, just because we do. This is a bar graph, um, and along the bottom you'll see that the this is a percentage chance of something happening at the Q&A. 0% uh, is represented by Pacey from Dawson's Creek turning at my doorstep, knocking on the door and saying it's always been me. And at that side, 100% is possibility that I uh, get spots just before the press junket. It's going to happen. So this axis is uh, things that might happen so answers refers to uh, the possibility of me actually answering some of your questions with something articulate and relevant possibly something that would elevate your understanding of the world and um, your place within it uh, trouble refers to the possibility of me saying something inappropriate about the actors um, mistakes that's quite a big one that refers to the percentage chance that I'm gonna make a fool of myself by like headbutting the microphone or accidentally wearing a dress that see through in the stage lights or um, spilling my dinner down my top before Beforehand. Rowing, that refers to my parents arguing about who is most responsible for me having a mouth like the gutter. Tap dancing, tap dancing is just the percentage chance that I'll forget what I'm saying halfway through a sentence and have to improvise um, with tap dancing or uh, mime or whistling. Romantic curiosity refers to people that I've snogged in the past coming along and just asking me awkward questions for no reason whatsoever, just to embarrass me. Um, confusion, that's you being confused when I use words like um, gobble funk or discombobulate in sort of general conversation um, don't read too much into it it's just that I've got a, a running bet with some of my friends about whether I can drop those words into the Q&A's um, and winning that bet is more important basically than looking unhinged in front of you just on a general note about the Q&A in case they're videoing them it would be great if you could ask me questions that make me look good to future people like um, how has my piecework in Bosnia affected my ability to write the script or how has running those 10 marathons for charity helped me with the stamina needed to deal with Jodie Whittaker's tantrums?